Five years after allegations began to emerge against Oxy's toxic humidifier disinfectants, the CEO of the company's Korean unit has finally delivered a formal public apology. But the move has far from produced a sense of closure for the many victims and their families who have suffered over the years. As our Hwang Ho-jun reports, many are questioning whether it's too little, too late. Asthma, pulmonary fibrosis, cirrhosis. These are just some of the severe illnesses caused by chemicals allegedly used in a household humidifier disinfectant manufactured by Oxy Recipient Kieser. The connection was confirmed in 2011 after four pregnant women died of lung problems after using the product, which had been on the market for over 10 years. According to the Ministry of Environment, more than 200 people have suffered from the toxic sanitizer, including 95 related deaths. The CEO of Oxy Record Bank Kieser held a press conference Monday delivering a public apology to the victims and their families, pledging to spend more than 4 million U.S. dollars in compensation. We are deeply sorry. We want to make amends. We remain committed to Korea and Korean consumers and will work hard to regain your trust. Nevertheless, we understand that despite our efforts, nothing can completely ease the pain and suffering of the HS victims and their families. The CEO's public move came after the prosecution recovered a controversial email late last month denying any culpability in the case, which triggered strong criticism from the Korean public. Some victims attended the press conference in Seoul and expressed anger over the belated apology, saying that it does not provide solace from the pain they have experienced over the years. Meanwhile, the prosecution said they will conduct a complete and thorough investigation on Reckitt Bank Kieser products that have been sold to probe any further or additional damages. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.